Many things have changed over the last four years of our lives here at Cordova High School. In fact, many of you might not recognize me due to my ever-changing hair, but I do know a good portion of the people here, and I have a few final things to say as a Cordova High student. After 38 years, Dr. Michael Razzler is finally calling it quits, throwing in the towel and retiring. Rez has been a wonderful sex ed teacher over the years, but his weakness is that he occasionally gets sidetracked and tells stories. But I'm sure we didn't miss anything too important while we were talking about Raz's recent encounter with the Palestinian Minister of Education. Oh, by the way, uh, men, both men and women can become pregnant, right Raz? But seriously, many people here are going to miss out on health with uh, the doc. They're law. They're lost because it might be the easiest class on campus. <laughs> on the other hand, I'm sure many juniors are wishing that instead Mr. Ariano were, were retiring. His, <laughs> his high standards are so legendary, students beg their counselors not to put them in Ariano's class. <laughs> and Mr. Reynolds, I know you haven't heard much of my speech yet, but you're still a great teacher. <laughs> as far as what I'll miss at Cordova, the blank look on my friend Jared's face during English as he tries not to fall asleep, or, the, or my friend Joe's constant questions will be some dearly missed comic relief. I'll also miss the 5 a.m. swim practices and the 1, 3, 5, 2, 4, 6 schedule. But on looking back over the last few years, what I really appreciated the most was the freedom high school afforded. The coming of age from clueless freshmen to worldly seniors has come with the freedom to choose our own classes, to try and work part-time while still maintaining a 2.0, to take our lives into our own hands by driving a car, to come home from a party in the middle of the night, or not come home at all, to fail classes, <laughs> and to shape the rest of our lives. The diplomas we are about to receive embody this freedom and are a testament to our ability to handle this freedom and responsibility. But my favorite thing about Cordova is that there is something here for everyone. No matter who you are, be it the star quarterback, cheerleader, geek, rocker, or video game enthusiast, there is almost someone there's almost assuredly someone similar for you to be friends with. We have ethnic clubs, video game clubs, sports, mathletes, science school, and service clubs. We have academies, a yearbook class, a journalism class, a wide range of AP classes, special ed classes, and ESL classes. Here at Cordova, we take everyone and give them the opportunity to learn. So, congratulations to all of the graduates. and to all the people who have helped us over the years. Finally, I want to say a special thanks to my mom, dad, Natalie, my grandma, grandpa, and especially Peter and Debbie Allen. Without you guys, I wouldn't be half the student or person I am today.